Um. Let me see. Uh, well, do you want to do, you want to do secrets first? I, yeah, I think we should. We might as well just clear up the shines. Then we need to nozzle. Yeah, this one's like Thing the of... easiest shine sprite in the game, pretty much. Thing unless you, unless you do. This game only came out like a year and a half after Adventure Two, and the graphical leap is. Yeah, is I it mean. A battle or... Well, Not I mean. The original Sonic Adventure Two. I mean, there's it's no. Like, the... Battle. No, I mean, it's like Adventure Two Battle or the Greencast version. Original Sonic Adventure 2. Okay. I mean, there's not much difference between the versions, as far as I know. Maybe because for some textures. Yeah. I mean, I, I like how I think the textures got worse in uh, DX. Oh yeah, they did. They they it lost a lot of the uh, little graphical effects and stuff. This one to the run. Yeah. This, this is. Earth. This, this just flat out looks like a galaxy stage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this looks like the thing we do with the Yoshi. It's also like... It, it also like reminds me of uh, some uh, areas in Odyssey where you had to get the, those flower things and you just do like a giant... That's hilarious. <laughs> I always do that. I think you're supposed to let go at a certain time. So what what usually happens for me there is um, when I get to that point, I usually grab the ledge. So I was I, I got thrown off. I think you can ground pound. Can you? You just love me. Try when we get to the, try when we get to the green. I was gonna say try when we get to the green. Yeah. Mock speed sections. <laughs> Darn! We're not gonna make it. Let's speed up. Elise's trainers. Uh-oh, gotta speed up! That tornado's carrying a car! Uh... No, I so can't- you, you can't ground pound. What do you like about the novel? Um, maybe. Th that probably works, actually. That's- okay, that's what usually happens. God dang. That's a pretty fun section, though. halfway there. Halfway there, halfway there. So, like I was saying, Hello there. Yeah, we... Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> what are you saying, Scrappy? <laughs> and I recorded Sonic R a month ago. It'll probably be uploaded in June. Uh, it's going up after Jungle Bait. Are we going for the bells June next? Then. Are we doing the bells next? Yep. Spend half the time recording. Sonic R just talking about Crash Team Racing instead of the actual Sonic game that was coming out. Before. Yeah, yeah, we we paid a, we uh, made notice of that too. It's like we were talking about CTR, and then just like I, I like how we we we're just spending this whole time just talking about Crash. It's like we we could have been talking about Team Sonic Racing, but at this point it's just too far gone into the into a Crash discussion. So. I was, Goes below the tower that we had to go underground for. Yeah. <clears throat> the other one goes above it, if I remember correctly. Yep. Yeah, Team Sonic Racing, uh, uh, CTR and Team, Son and Team Sonic Racing. Uh, I, I'm really looking forward to those because uh, the last kart racer I played is uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, or just Mario Kart 8 period. And, um, it's been a while. Five-year-old game. Yeah, I, I, ba I basically, uh... More not, characters. Not necessarily grown tired, but... I played Mario Kart 8 so much that there isn't really anything new for me to find in that game anymore. At and, most, at most, it's just playing with me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll play with, pe like, people if they, like, online if they want, but, like, in terms of, like, just playing Play a game... <laughs> it doesn't just playing the game... By myself, I'm pretty much done with Mario Kart 8. Did you get Did you get Gold Mario? Uh, I don't think I did. No. I did. I just didn't care enough. Man, yes. Oh. Uh, That's it. Uh, we Mario Kart 8. It'll help kill some time before things like racing, at least. Yeah. I mean, not tomorrow or tonight, though. Oh, definitely not tonight, because uh, by the time this we're finished doing this, it's going to be, like, what time is it? Two o'clock. 
Your favorite time. Yeah, it's 2 uh, a.m. <laughs> and, and, and I can't do it tomorrow because that's Mother's Day. Alright, yeah. Your mother to play with you, Jason. We're going to Olive Garden. We're going to Olive Garden. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, I have an Olive Garden in five years. I like the spaghetti here. Oh, yes! <laughs> Alright, let's talk about food for the next hour. <laughs> Alright, let's do it! Um... I mean, I don't have much to say about this. What, what else do we need a rocket nozzle for? I don't remember. But oh, I... um, um, trying uh, uh, Oh, yeah, that's- yeah, that's true, we can do that, but, um... We can do the box break in minigame. I think there's two shines you get from this. Even though there's three layouts. Yeah. It's either two or three you get, I don't remember. See now, if Mario had his Odyssey kit right now, he could totally break this mini game. In what way? Oh right, because you can it. just you can just throw Cappy, right? We're just roll into all of these crates. Wow, 15 seconds on the dot. Oh nice. <laughs> hmm. See? Yeah, boy. <laughs> I like that. Hilarious that the timer was still going while you. Gloating and it didn't start to appear. Oh, I hate when games do that. Oh, well, the timer keeps going. Yeah, it was Galaxy. You, get, oh, you get the reward, but it's not over. The Galaxy games do that. Or at least the first one does. Fuck you, Galaxy 1. I don't know if Galaxy 2 does. I forget. Galaxy 2, you're okay for now. <laughs> I think there's areas over here where we're on one of the spots where Daphne and I'll pause the stage and smash our transitions too. Yeah. That is one of my favorite brawl, stage, brawl stages. Yeah. Delfino Plaza? Yeah. Also, the Delfino Plaza remix in Ultimate is great. You have just barely scratched the surface of game, game remixes in Smash Bros. Mmm. You're great, you're the best. Okay, I don't think you get a third one, but I'm gonna do it again just to be sure. There's a third layout though, isn't there? I think so. Verify this for you. Okay, we've got the scrappy guy. It's two. Only two? Okay. I wanna see what the third layout though. Yeah. I think it's the third layout, I'm pretty sure there's a third layout. Don't know why they go to the trouble with that if you can't get another shine, but... Someone in the development team just really like box box placements or something. Whoa, there's a lag on my end. I think this is new. Yeah, it is a little bit new. Well, we're, well, we're, not, gonna do, we're not gonna do it. I'll, I'll, break the, <laughs> I'll break the boxes and not talk to actually, him. Actually, we're happy to be talked to him. Yeah, I, I actually don't know. I want to say... He probably, he probably reset. I think, I think the room just resets. Probably. Why happens if I just leave? Well, the timer's going or what? Yeah. Oh, mama mia. Oh yeah, they just respawn. <laughs> LOL! <laughs> <laughs> it just stops. <laughs> That's funny. Let's go! Oh. You know, for a game that's about water, you don't actually spend that much time swimming underwater. That's true. Oh, the swimming in this game is a... Yeah, the swimming controls are kind of... They're not... You'd think it'd be a priority. Yeah, it's too slow. Like, I like do using hover in on the surface of water, so that's fun, but... Uh, wait, what was I doing? Um, blue coins? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I remember there's another uh, shank that we can get on the roofs. I was- The truckster. Oh, right, yeah. But he needs coins, doesn't he? Yeah, he needs one coin. Because I- I- There was- I hadn't, like... I was going to- Oh, no, what I was doing, I was getting the shine gate. You wanted the shine gate? We might as well do the truckster one, since we got a coin. Yes, uh, like... unless, unless he misses. I, can, unless he misses. Can he? I, I'm pretty sure he missed once at least. Yeah, I. Mm. Here he is. 
YOLO! Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> Maybe just wall jump. Yeah, I'm just jumping. Oh, we can use the umbrellas. Yep. I think this is also bounceable. Yep. I mean, you probably just have to angle this correctly. Do you see the broken window? Yeah. Wee. There we go. I swear he's missed at least once for me. I wonder if there's a way to clip in this building. Like, and just ignore- I don't think the window even breaks. I think you just clip through the window, actually. Hmm. I mean, you don't really see it. You just get thrown there and the camera shifts. Yeah, let's get the shrine gate. Anyways. Yeah, shrine gate. Also... You know, you'd think this one had more of an impact. Yeah. Cause it's like the mate, like the big shine gate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, there's a big shine spray, but they make a big deal of it in the uh, overview. Yeah. Also, I like how the the graffiti makes it look like a face. Yeah, cause like, it looks like a weird lower lip. Yeah. That's how I always saw it. Yeah, I always thought, saw that too, and I always thought I was going crazy. <laughs> it is most pitiable. <laughs> I love the I love the delivery of that. It is most pitiable. <laughs> By the way, I like how the eyes are falling about the, the shine sprite. Yeah. They just kind of place this, like extra models and just put, put it near the shine sprite. The eyes are separate models. <laughs> that's well, what I think. The sprite hovering above it. Probably. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Careful, we don't want to land there. Huh. <laughs> Yeet? Well, besides that one mission, I don't mind Pianta Village. The Fluff Festival could be a little iffy at times, though. Mm, yeah, mainly for when you're going, like, above bottomless pits. I've got the nine signs. Where? In the map. We've got 11 shines in Delphino Plaza. How many are there in the plaza? I don't know. Um, 16. Grab the guy. 16? Okay, 16. um, let's, let's see. Where are the other ones? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know there's one here. I know there's one here. Right. I always get this one first. Yeah, that's the, uh, the funny thing. Like, when I. So, uh, when I was younger and I played this game, um, I always, like, just ignored Shadow Mario and just got a bunch of secret shines first. Uh -huh. It doesn't really matter, though, because of the way this game's structured. Boop. Which is, uh, kind of... Like, one, one of my biggest uh, pet peeves for this game is that, like, the shines you get, like, outside of the main levels just don't matter to, towards completion, so it's like... Unless you're going for 100% specifically, there's no reason to get them. Which is like... Because like, you, you have to be Shadow Mario all the time. Yeah, and it's like... If you're gonna have, like, these, like, secret shrines and stuff, like... Uh, I don't know. It, how many courses are there again? I don't know, seven or eight. Seven? Okay. I feel I feel like what they should have done is kept kept with the seven with the seventy stars to, to unlock Corona Mountain. Yeah. And ju and just um, but, and, but like um, Ooh. but kept kept all, ah. kept all the missions the same. Yeah. I think I think if they literally just changed that, this that this I would have less of a gripe. Yeah, because as it stands, there's literally no reason to uh, go off the beaten path unless you want 100%. Right. Which is... I mean, for me, like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the stuff anyway, because I like it, but... For the reason... Yeah, I, I, I never go for 100% anymore, to be honest. In Sunshine? Yeah. Yeah, you know, that, that's the thing though, because, um, like, I, I enjoy doing this, um, but the reason why something like 64 was, or even, like, Galaxy, like, pretty much every 3D Mario that's not Sunshine, uh, does it so, um, each, um, 
was it? You, you just have to get a certain amount of stars or whatever to keep going throughout, through the game. And every star you got counted towards completion. So you could just make your own adventure more or less. Right. Here, here I'll give it to its credit. You can do every level right almost right away. Yeah, but you have to do all of them is the issue. Right. And there's no... You, you can't really... Unless you do, like, the thing... Bianca Hills, where you skip episode one, you, you're gonna have to pretty much do all epi everything up to episode seven. Right. I I get I guess I I get what they're trying to do is like episodes one through six is you go around cleaning up Shadow Mario makes yeah cleaning up the mess that Shadow Mario makes and it, it it's nice seeing like Wait, the I don't, remember, I don't remember this yeah this one I found a lot later I I didn't know this existed. Um, until, um, I found a video, I believe, but, yeah. Wait, I, I, I looked away for a second, where, how do you even get in here? Um, it's, um, yeah. I, I can show it. it. I'll show it later, but, it's, um. Was it by the cannon? Yeah, it's way, well, it's, Actually. well, it's way, it's far away from the cannon, but it's closest, like, area to it. Let us swim around the area a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, this is, um... <laughs> I've you never seen this nozzle? area. You need yeah. a rocket nozzle. Yeah, you've never seen this area, uh, Scrappy? Um, I've, I've gotten 100% once, but I don't remember this at all. Hmm. So I feel like I just completely forgot about this. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so it's just another red coin challenge, so it's not really anything special. It's it's basically just so, someone just put around a, a giant square platform and just place stuff around it. The thing that I'm burning down all the grass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seriously. The fire somehow isn't touching the grass. Somehow, even though it's like super tall. <laughs> Magic. Alright, one more. I can't even see you. Are you serious? What? We had to fight- we had to do a- there's a red bird. Uh, why do I have to put that there? Is that what you said, a red bird? Yeah. And it's up there. Who thought the red- who thought having to spray the birds was a fun idea? It's not. I think that I think minus this one. I think minus this one. I think the intention was Yoshi. Probably, but the fact that you can do it with the, with flood is like, and this is like you have to do it with flood. Uh, yeah, in fact, in, yeah. In fact, I'll bet with with, with Yoshi. Um, I bet like in a way that can cause a muscle memory issue. Hmm. I suppose. Because I've always it's like. Yoshi's there, so you're in, you need Yoshi to do this. Yeah. Because you can't get her with Yoshi. As far as I know, you can't get her with Yoshi. Wait, what? What would you have said if you got the bird? Oh, I don't know, actually. Probably the same thing. Or maybe, like, oh, you got the bird, maybe. Because we. Box sensors allowed it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, um, i just show you where it was. Outside those windows we, we, that you just ran by, you know what comes to mind? What's that? That WarioWare Smooth Moves minigame. Uh, which one? Spread the one where you had to use the, you had to spray the windows. I don't remember that one. But yeah, it's basically, it's basically, right here. yeah, you just have to go on those trees and the, the pipes, like, somewhere are up there. Okay. Okay, so, um... You gotta spray the golden bird too, Harry. Oh, I forgot about that completely! Okay. No, let's we'll just eat it. Yeah, no, because you, you, that means we'd have to go all the way <laughs> through to the Poison River Island again, and I'm not doing that. Oh. I forgot I was on that island. It's way out there, too. Yeah. I honestly I forgot about this one. Huh? 
Could have one of you take out that fire. Oh, actually, I, I think when the game's over, this guy actually manages to get back. Yeah, and does, isn't he like, oh, I wish I could just go back to the island? Yeah. It's kind of funny. Yeah. You know what? Wait, so no. how did he get back, dude? I guess he just, like, just yeah, go big or. The, I guess someone got, found him. I guess Margot told the authorities to go rescue him. Either that, or he just suddenly just went, I'll, I'll just go big or go home, and he just starts swimming over there. <laughs> or, uh, or um, he, he teleported. We just saved him. Oh, yeah, Louis. Um, um, hold on a minute. Scrappy, you watch SpongeBob, right? Yes. Do you remember the episode where, uh, wait, Gary takes a bath? Remember that episode? Yes. <laughs> SpongeBob just tries to toss Gary into the bath, but there's several attempts yeah, to get him to the, get clean. He hovers above the bath, so he just pops. He <laughs> 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 He literally just, he literally just, like, poop, like, like, uh, zips over there, like, like, he, like, like he had a frame rate issue. <laughs> That's amazing. Is that do I have that right, um, Scrappy? Uh, no, no, no. Gary just like stops in midair and then just disappears and appears next to SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah, he literally just pops. He literally just like zips, like 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 one, fr not even a frame, just right there. Like Goku <laughs> doing, use, like Goku using instant, instant transmission in Dragon Ball Z abridged. <laughs> it's literally instant transmission. Also, one thing you you you, you can notice it, especially now, is that uh, Delfino Plaza lights up more and more the more shines you get, and I always thought that was really cool. I think the darkness is gone. The what? The darkness is gone. Yeah, pretty much. It, it just gets brighter and brighter. It should. Um... Same as the visual treat. Oh, right, okay. Uh, the, the, I, th I think... Can we go to the ass trip? I mean, is that both game? I don't know. I I don't remember I when you can go there. I've never been able to go there except for post game. Mm. Well, I, I know you can... I've gotten all the shines, like... Um, along, uh, all the shines, like, before Bowser. Hmm. I don't remember when you can do that, though. We can technically get 100 coins here, but it's, it's more annoying, because there's not as many here. So I guess we'll just blue coin it. Alright. Yeah, uh, help us get the 100 coins. Um, if we can... Oh, how m now? Huh? Shine sprites. Um. Alright, you've got everything you you got. Our, you've got everything. Yes, you've got everything you can have right now, aside from the hundred coin shine sprite. Okay. Alright, we we're just so, gonna. No, so we might as well get that shine sprite now, shouldn't we? Wait, which one? Wait. Hundred coins. Well, I, I'm go I'm gonna get I'm gonna go. Like, aim for the blue coins, and if we end up getting enough coins, we'll get that too. How many, um, where's the best place to get coins in here? The sewers. Right. I might as well eat this. Might as well eat that, you can eat that now. Yeah. Okay, now we have mysterious boxes that have been spotted next near the fountain. By Delfino Plaza's Grand Pianta Statue. I hate how slow that thing is. <laughs> what, the heck? Yeah. Something disgusting. Yeah. Oh, the blue coins don't count as the coin count. No. Oh, which, m which makes 100 coins annoying. Because, <laughs> like, in 64, they gave you uh, 5 coins apiece. Five. Yeah. And not even the red coins gives you, like, count to the main coin counter in this game, either. Which I think is... the red coins gave you two, didn't they? Yeah, in, yeah, in 64 and uh, every other game, I think. Yo, like, oh. Okay, <laughs> that works too. Let's see what you're trying to do, but... 
this and I drink it. All oh, right, I forgot about this one. Yep. I think uh, the airstrip and the plaza both count as the same thing, I believe. I think. I'm not sure. Um, and I think it's a 20 for both of them combined. So we should be get aiming for like 19. So, do you want... So, maybe we can hold off on this coin chest break if you want. I mean, maybe, but... It, it doesn't really matter, because... We're gonna have to do it at some point anyway, so... Well, I mean, we, you would you ever do the easy way or the longer way? Uh, that depends, because I remember the sewers giving you a lot of coins, so it depends how many there are. Because if we just had to scout around for a few more, then it shouldn't be too bad. We have more than half of the blue coins now, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, we've got six. Do you mean in general or here? How long have we been recording? Just Delfino Plaza itself. Um, we've been recording for... Uh, let's see... Two hours? Two, two hours, yeah. Like, roughly, almost exactly two hours? Two hours and 17 minutes. Alright. So, it's after, weird. so what, what stage are we gonna do next after this? Uh, I think we're gonna call it a, a session after this, because it's late. Okay. But, well, at least um, now if we leave, at least now if I leave, then we don't have anything to worry about. Yeah, because we're just doing cleanup. That said, I'm gonna. That said, I'm going to turn on my PS4 and play something. Yeah, um, but um, the thing I keep on, the the discussion I keep on alluding to, like since like Galato Beach, I think, is that um, one f a, a topic that I've heard people talk about with this game is that they feel. Um, because of the tropical setting, it, um, I guess they feel like the levels feel a bit too samey or something like that, and, uh, I that. hmm? I, I kinda get that. I kinda get that, but I, I also, like, especially... Yeah, I, I get that, but at the same time, I also, like, completely disagree as well at the same time, because, um, the, um, even though it has every level has like the same like tropical aesthetic, every level feels like completely unique in its own way. And even though there's two beach levels, the second beach level is mostly spent in a hotel, which is like completely completely dif different from anything you do in uh, Galato Beach. And I honestly it's feel have Gelato Beach. Wait, what? It's Gelato Beach. It's pronounced Gelato Beach? Yeah, Gelato Gelato. I always pronounce it as Gelato. <laughs> well, either, either way though, um... I... I honestly think that this game does... D does the uh, theming with the levels better than 64, because... Um... They... They, they, they feel like they're more creative. Because, like, 64... Is basically just um, like your ge general like fire, ice, water, and all that, which is fine. But I, I feel like again, I feel like Sunshine's just more creative. Like there's actually these feel like ge like general living, breathing worlds. Especially with the fact that each episode feels like it feels like a, there's an ongoing story go with uh, every world, uh, which I enjoy, and um, the whole like. I, I, I kind of like the Tropical aesthetic. how um, it's a general theme throughout the game, because I can't really think of many other games off the top of my head that does something like that. Um, and it, uh, the Tropical aesthetic as well just makes the game just look really pretty and just pop with all its bright colours and all that. And um, I can kind of, again, I can kind of understand um, feeling that levels feel a bit too similar in a way, um, but I don't know. I, I I've always I, I just really enjoy the Tropical Rust deck, and I think levels level themes in this game are a lot more diverse than people give it credit for. And um, yeah, and because I, I know there are some cut levels like this game was semi rushed. Which is probably the reason why blue coins exist to begin with. 
to like just get that 120 shine count uh, uh, count quota. Um, because I know there was supposed to be a mall level specifically that got cut, which would have been interesting. Actually, maybe that's what became the Coconut Mall in Mario Kart Wii. That it could be, because uh, that seems very Mario Sunshine esque. Hmm. It makes you wonder, like, what other levels would have been a thing. I don't know, what do you, what do you guys think, what, what do you guys think, like, the, about, like, the general, like, Tropical West egg and how it affects the game? Well, I, like, I, like, I like Tropical West egg. Seven yeah. levels, so it's kind of hard to us. Where's that as welcome? Hmm. Yeah, I think this game's just long enough to be satisfying. Um, like, it's fine, like, if... Uh, like if they had an island, like an ice level, it would have been fine because you know, tropical islands can have snowy mountains too. Yeah, that's true. Maybe if they remake it one day, they can include a snowy ski resort or something. I'd be okay, okay with that. that. I wouldn't be surprised if that was one of the cut levels. I don't know. I don't remember how many stages there were supposed to be, but I, I want to say uh, like probably at least ten to twelve. But I could be wrong. 12 cut or 10 to 12 total? No, 10 to 12 total. No, I'm just spitballing there. I don't know if that's actually true. I'm just... That just sounds like a good round number. Do you know if there are any other cut levels that are, like, known? Besides the mall? I didn't even know about the mall. I, I don't really. I've never really kept up with Mario Sunshine's development history. Yeah, the the mall is the only one I've heard about. I would. It would be really cool to get a Sunshine remake and have like the full game as it was uh, planned to begin with. <laughs> but yeah, I went. I yeah, I wanted to. The, the reason I wanted to say this until a bit later into the game is so that like we've seen at least a good chunk of it, or like almost half, so that like we've seen a good chunk of the game, and um, like with with all the things we've seen up to this point, um, like. I think the levels we've seen have been pretty, pretty diverse, and, uh, it's, um, you know, it's enough of the, we've seen enough of the game to warrant this discussion, I think. Because, like, it, it, it wouldn't have made sense if I just brought this up at the start. Oh, I'm sorry for being quiet again, I'm looking at this dialogue. It's fine. <laughs> Let's just... It's just that's just something that's been on my chest. Now it's off. <laughs> oh, I need to talk to talk to you first. Only waiting. Uh, yeah. The developers did a good job making sure the levels stand out from one another. They at least made sure the structures of like actual building structures were different enough. Yeah, is I think it's pretty impressive. Like they make them feel different, but keep they like, feel like it stays with the general theme of the game at the same time. It's like yeah, Yoshi starts flashing when he loses. It. He he goes green. And he just melts. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, in recent years, uh, for various reasons, I've, uh, grown to appreciate this game more and more. Because, uh, as a kid, um, I enjoyed this game, but I honestly never thought it was anything special. <laughs> and, um... 
then. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I. That's not how I feel about this game at all nowadays. Because mm. like uh, we were, I think, I think that we were talking about this off screen, but I, like, in terms of like, what if we prefer 64 or Sunshine? I go back and forth constantly between these two games. Like, <laughs> there's, um... <sighs> mm. I haven't played either game in, in lot. It's been so long since I've since I played either game to really make a judgment call. Mm. There's, uh, things that... There are, like, a few things that, um, can get annoying in both games. I think some of the things in Sunshine can be, uh can be, um, over, overall more offensive, um, but, like, the, the, like, the things in six, like, there aren't that many, like, really, um, as, like, from what I remember, like, really annoying moments in 64, like, some of the, some of the last couple levels can be annoying, but besides that, I can't really think of much. Coins start spawning wherever you got the last coin, and that doesn't always work out. Yeah, that can be annoying. That can be annoying. Our design, like once you know it, that well, well, like when you know, like the the star's gonna show up, like where you are. Uh, you can just make sure you just don't get the last coin in a random place, which is a bit annoying, but yeah. <laughs> 